what is up everybody welcome back to the channel uh so if you are clicked on this video because of the thumbnail it's why are batteries so expensive and uh, if you were looking for like a technical reason uh, this, is, this is the wrong video i'm just complaining like why are batteries so expensive i'm old enough where i remember when you could get a good battery for 100 bucks we just went you know i'm going to show you guys the receipt let's get down to brass tacks here 233 dollars and seven cents 233 dollars and uh seven cents and this is for an o'reilly Craigan for all my older people out there just run-of-the-mill whatever battery i mean it's not even like we're getting something special you know we used to run those like optima yellow tops red tops those were expensive they could justify the price i don't know i don't know what's going on prices are just crazy but the battery that's in the thing we had a good run uh you know you know people always say that line always say that line uh you know tell me about your car has it been reliable and they're like well it's never left me stranded <laughs> you were left stranded until yesterday yesterday, yesterday she was <laughs> left stranded look at this six of 18 is the outgoing battery let's do some math so this battery is five years and three months old as you saw yesterday went to start it and it didn't start and i wasn't available even though i would have been in an emergency we talked about this but uh she actually she actually utilized AAA. they came out and jump started this thing and the guy said your battery's shot so I went and bought a new battery this morning and uh, swapped this thing out super quick. And then I got something else. Uh, since we're handling this, we might as well, uh, it's time the Sequoia gets some, gets some love, so. Uh, but anyways, this thing will not start right now. So, let's fix it. Safety goggles, check, good. Ooh, look at that. Oh, wow. <coughs> oh geez. <coughs> Got a little dust in my pipes. <laughs> Dude, your battery problems are behind you. Well, you it ecstatic? hasn't started. All right, let's see it. So yesterday, uh, w w what kind of noise was it making when you went to start it? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. And then it started clicking. And then after like 40 minutes of sitting, it started clicking. It like wanted to start. You could, it was more than clicking, but it was not. Yeah. Why did it do that? That always happens. It's, uh, it's like initializing programming itself. Okay. We're not going to talk about that, all right? Nobody okay. knows what that was. Okay. They didn't see that, right? No. I don't know what that was about. All right, we're back on track. So, $233, that is absolutely insane. Uh, I thought batteries, if you just asked me out of the blue, how, how much is a battery, I'd be like 135 uh, so there is a core charge. If we bring back the old battery, they give me a $21. So, uh, I don't know. But anyways, that's behind us. Anybody, uh, I don't know if anybody out there has had an expensive battery issue recently, but they suck. Anyways, moving on, uh, I have something super big. In this box right here. See that? Blizzard Pearl Ground Coat. So that one's Ground Coat. Oh, look at that. This is Mid Coat. How cool is that? And Primer. Holy smokes. Primer, Ground Coat, Mid Coat. You know, it's a bummer. I wanted the 2K. Um, Dang it, it's the one that there's like, I think you, you hit this thing on the bottom and it's like a two part. And it's only good for like an hour, not 1K. Well, that's a bummer. Anyways, uh, some of you out there are like, what are you gonna do with all this paint? Well, if you're new to the channel, 
uh, Blizzard Pearl Sequoia had this issue where uh, the paint started coming off. It came off right here and a bunch came off on the other side. This is gonna be one of the first times though where I don't just, normally I tape off or I paint a certain section. This is gonna be like a blending thing. I think we're gonna probably sand all the way to the bottom uh, to about up here and, uh, and kind of just blend that whole area. It's gonna be exciting though to get that fixed and then up here at the, the top of the lip of the, of the roof, you can see a bunch of chips. We're gonna fix that up. And this has to be the worst spot right here. Do you think this is going to be good? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't, I don't know, but I mean, do. I guess like paint is better than raw. I'm going to cover all this up up here. We'll just focus on this door and uh, probably go from the side over here all the way down. I, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But any, yeah, anything's better than that. So we're going to take care of that. I was thinking about doing this today, but unfortunately, I have to go to work today. Boo. Yeah. It's a gorgeous day. Uh, it's terrible. So... I guess that's going to end this video, you guys, uh, but uh, stay tuned because on the next video, we are going to fix the paint on that thing and then wash it. But anyways, you guys, uh, that's going to wrap up this video. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Everybody drop a big old thumbs up and uh, we're going to get on the, uh, the uh, Platinum Sequoia soon and uh, get that thing fixed up. And uh, sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Have a good rest of the day, everybody. Peace. Today, we actually saw something on TikTok the other day. Uh, that was super cool. I don't know if you ever, you know about clay barring, right? We've seen me do it before you clay yes. bar and then it has like turns this little piece of clay like black with all the contaminants. Some guy was clay barring his windshield. Does that said work? It, said it'll change your life. And if anybody knows me, I'm into life changing stuff. So uh, we're going to give that a shot. Wash it first. Yeah, like thoroughly. I'm going to seriously wash it five times. <laughs> okay, what do you guys think? Predictions right now? I believe we're going to do a poll. Not, I don't, we don't have that in our budget to have like fancy yeah, no. data chart right now, but let's say we were to have a fake one. Uh, I think people are skeptical. I don't think they think it's going to work. Uh, I'm like 50-50 so, is where I am. Yeah, so if you do the paint, yeah, it's like it's a trip. We've done a ton of times. I'll find a clip. But, uh, oh. I didn't realize it's wet. Yeah, you clay bar wet. You usually use okay. like some sort of detailer, not glass cleaner. I'll make a little flat surface here. Now, normally you can like hear it. I was about to say, when, can you feel it doing anything? You know, I think I can. I don't know if it's just because I really want to. Okay, you ready? Okay. No. You know what? I have to go run an errand right now and I'm going to be like driving into the sun. So, so I'll you'll just see. Dry it off right now and we'll take the physical challenge. There you go. Looks like. All right. That's what you got to do, right? Yep. Let's test it. That's a good idea. All right. All right. So earlier I cleaned both sides. Um, I use like a very special cleaner on one side and then uh, the other side just regular. Anyways, can you tell? Is there one side that's cleaner than the other? I think uh, that one? Uh, the, right, uh, the right side? Really? Wait, no, the left side, I mean. Left side. Left side cleaner? Yes. You are correct. All right, you heard it, everybody. What side's cleaner? The left side. Left side. Look how beautiful that is. Gorgeous.
Take